Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is time for the monthly sheet load showcase. I hope you'll stick around and get a look at all of the cards my collaborators created using the November 2021 sheet load of cards. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I'm not sure about you, but I am loving my latest sheet load, November 2021. I have enjoyed seeing what you guys are creating and sharing here on YouTube and over on Instagram. And today I am here to show you a look at all of the sets that my collaborators have created for the month. Now, I know that you're going to want to go find out more about their sets, and after you're done with this video, everybody is linked in that description box below so you can go get more details and close-up looks. If you have not yet downloaded the November 2021 sheet load of cards, as always, it is free to subscribers, and I will have the debut video linked in the description box below, as well as the process video where I show you how I made my first set of the month. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and take a quick look at my six cards. Don't forget too that I would love to see what you're creating. You can show us your sheet load in three different ways. You can share a video here on YouTube or a post over on Instagram. And if you're gonna do either of those, don't forget to use the provided hashtags for the month. Now the third way that you can show us your sheet load is send in a card to my PO box for the end of the month feature. As always, my P.O. box is at the very bottom of the description box, and to get more details on how to show us your sheet load, I do have a video linked, you guessed it, in that description box below. Let's go ahead and see what my team of collaborators created this month. Yes, I am on my way to 25K, and I'm hoping with a little help from you, that we can make this happen, maybe even by the end of 2021. I would love for you to share my channel with your crafty friends, crafty family members, crafty neighbors, crafty coworkers, even just a random shopper in your local scrapbook or stamp store. You can let them know about my channel, and if they're interested in subscribing, that will help me hit that 25K. Now let's take a look at those collaborator cards. First up on the YouTube team is Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts. Beth actually used this month's sketch and cutting guide to create two sets of Christmas cards. One was dog themed and one was cat themed and they were both totally cute. Amalia of Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia used the layout to create a set of thank you cards. And if you look behind the sentiment piece there, she has used some crafting wire for her thread nest. This next set from Debbie of Project 39 mini albums might look familiar. She was actually the featured set in the thumbnail. She has made some Thanksgiving cards with this month's layout, and I am loving that little turkey. Karen Aiken created another beautiful set of birthday cards using the sheet load of cards, and this month I am loving the patriotic colors. 
Toby, aka Biddy Penny, has used the November 2021 sheet load of cards to inspire this set of mini slim lines. I love the paper she chose and that she has used some cut aparts from that paper kit. Creative Chelsea made this beautiful set of cards. I love all of the different stamped and die cut images she put together behind the sentiment and it looks like these would make some great Happy New Year's cards. Teresa of Fresh and Renewed with Teresa made this fun and cheery set of Christmas cards and her focal points came from a recent not too shabby stamp of the month. I am in love with the little hot cocoa cup and that cute little penguin. First up on the Instagram team is Lisa, aka at Scrapbook Girl. She also has a fun, adorable set of cards for Christmas. I always love the paper she chooses and the cute little focal points. Next up is at Fuzzy Slippers Designs, aka Mariah, and her cards. I am just in love with the focal points. I think they make the cards look so elegant. Stacy, who is at Craftaholic Mama on Instagram, created a set of holiday or winter cards, and she has also used a not too shabby kit, and this is one of the recent boxes of the month. I just love how she has put all of the different ephemera together for the focal points. Liz of at Lizzie's Happy Mail made a set of eight cards with this month's sheet load. I like the variety that she has here with her pattern papers and that shiny red thread behind her sentiment. I am in love with this set of cards from Jessica of at Jessie Kate Creates. I love the blues with the silver thread and embossing, and if you look really closely, you'll see that she has embossed the piece that her sentiment is on. First up on the blog team today is Sandy of the Stamp with Sandy blog. She has also used beautiful shades of blue, and I really love that snowflake behind her sentiment. And last but not least is Pam of the Airborne Wife Stamping Blog. Her cards will just let somebody special know that you're thinking of them. I really like that buffalo print paper and how she has a trio of those die cut pumpkins behind her sentiment. Did you enjoy seeing all of those cards as much as I did? I always go out on the second and see what everybody has made, but I also love seeing it here together as a single video, just to see how the one sketch can produce so many different types of cards. Don't forget, you can visit all of my collaborators' blogs, YouTube channels, and Instagram accounts using the links below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.